Hey guys, welcome to Happy Hunting, and today we're going to repair a metal detector. So that's a little different. Um, I've got this Bounty Hunter Tracker 4, and um, on the front of it, it's got a switch um, that goes from discrimination to tone to all metal. It's a three position switch, and uh, apparently it's pretty fragile because it's uh, broken. So we're going to go ahead and take this guy apart. It just looks like uh, four Phillips head screws on here and uh, a small nut on the switch. Um, and we're going to uh, get a replacement ordered and put that in. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, opened this guy up and I got the switch already taken out. Um, I decided to use a pair of clippers to clip it out because um, I would have had to take apart all of these other switches. The way the, the assembly was made, I'd have to disassemble some more of the board and I didn't really want to do that. The switch is no good. Um, so just cutting it out is fine. Um, I did get the model number and the manufacturer off there and I went online and I found, um, oddly enough, somebody on eBay had it. Um, I usually go to DigiKey or some other supplier like that for parts and um, they didn't have it, this exact model. I decided to get a slightly different model though. Um, I got a model that I don't have to take the board all apart to force the leads in because that just seemed like a lot of hassle. So I went with a slightly different switch. Here's the switch that I ended up going with, and it's a Sailcom T80, and there's the model number and things. It's a three position mini toggle switch. So I got one with uh, terminals on there, so my idea is I'm going to go ahead and mount this guy in, and then I'm going to uh, just solder wires from here to the board. Now I went ahead and um, I went ahead already and desoldered the board down here. Here's where the switch is. I went ahead and desoldered it. And I use some flux cleaner to make it look all nice and pretty too, so that it's not all beat up. Uh, desoldering, I just use uh, a solder pulp. I've been using these things for years, and it's really good at um, cleaning up um, solder on boards and things like that. So hopefully with the switch remounted in there, um, in its three positions, there's uh, on one side was discrimination, uh, and one side was tone, and then there was a middle position as well that's all metal. Uh, so... We're gonna drop this guy in and uh, hopefully everything works. So um, stay tuned for a second and I'm gonna be right back and put that in. Right, with, with the old switch out of the way uh, and the new switch in place and mounted, I just tested it, make sure it works. The physical size is the same, so everything's good. And then the plan here is I'm just gonna drop some, uh, some, some wire that I have laying around and I'm just gonna drop some connections. There's six of them total to be made. And um, I'm just going to, you can see them there on the switch uh, down to the PCB. And so we'll just solder those six on there and button this guy back up. It's literally that simple. Uh, to do the soldering, I'm using this um, very old Weller workstation that I actually repaired. Picked out of the trash and repaired many, many, many years ago. And I love it. It's just been reliable. It's a great iron. And uh, I'm using a, a bigger tip and we are going to go ahead there's our SW1 that we're going to hit right there. Um, so, all right, let's go. Let's get this done. All right, I got all the wires uh, bent and properly inserted. Now it's just time to uh, flip this guy over and put some solder on. Okay, we finished up. Uh, the switch is now in place. I used a little uh, flux remover to clean the board up when I was done, just make it look nice and neat. And uh, we're going to button this thing back up, and uh, hopefully everything works. But it, it, it looks much better having a a switch that actually does something again. All right, now for the test. I've got a uh, three switch setting. I've got discrimination, tone, and all metal. We'll start in the all metal, which is the center position. All metal should pick up everything. Let's try it out. I got a pull tab down there. It's picking that up. Got a rusty wire picking that up. And uh, some coins and washers. So it's picking up everything. All right, let's turn on discrimination. We should be able, and let's set the discrimination high on the, on the knob here. We should be able to discriminate out the pull tab, which is gone, and that iron wire is gone too. But we should still be able to pick up the, well, I don't even know if that's iron. It's just some rusty wire. I don't know. Uh, but we can pick up the quarter still. So it's discriminating properly. Let's try tone. That's the third setting over. So pushing it all the way to the far right, we should get a tone on this pull tab. Awesome. So the switch is 100% working and this detector is fixed. Um, 
I hate to part with a classic like this. It's a Bounty Hunter 4, and the only thing that was broke was a switch. With a little bit of soldering skills and some equipment, I was able to fix it for like less than five bucks. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you love it, give me a sub. Thanks. Thanks for watching.